Today was the worst day for new cases in Dallas County and Texas as a whole, really, and for the number of Americans needing hospital care because of the virus. Dallas County says 2,512 more people are sick. That's the most new infections ever reported in a single day. Texas broke a new record for a number of infections, too. More than 19,000 testing positive compared to one day ago. And more patients than ever before. More than 119,000 are so or so are sick with the virus. They are in hospitals tonight. With the virus spreading in so many places and spreading so quickly, we found there are places in North Texas where you're more vulnerable to get infected. And it all comes down to people's behavior. Caroline Vandergriff explains new at 10. We're at a point as bad as we've ever been in this uh, pandemic. The Parkland Center for Clinical Innovation analyzes COVID-19 data in Dallas County, right down to the zip code. The numbers show people in 75211, which covers Cockrell Hill and parts of Oak Cliff, are the most vulnerable to the virus. The 75243 and 75228 zip codes aren't far behind. What's been really eye-opening is the jump that we've seen over the past month for many zip codes above the prior July peak. The data indicates the increases are driven in part by high mobility levels during Thanksgiving. The Parkland Center says across Dallas County, people were out and about on the holiday as much as they were the previous year. What worries me is that um, with the hope of the vaccines and some of the fat fatigue that we've had as we've all dealt with this pandemic is that we do not let our guards down over the upcoming holidays. Especially since hospitals are already close to max capacity. As of this morning, there are 17 remaining ICU beds in Dallas County, the worst it's been so far. This is what worries me the most is the staffing. Even if you expand and have beds, you got to have the staff. Any surge beyond this, it's going to be really difficult to manage. Health officials urge people to continue to wear a mask, practice social distancing, and avoid large gatherings through Christmas and New Year's. If not for yourself, they say do it for health care workers who are exhausted and continuing to care for patients through the pandemic. Caroline Vandergriff. CBS 11 News. Hey, Caroline, thank you. In Fort Worth, by the way, ambulance service MedStar keeps track of potential coronavirus patients. They have had the most calls recently from people with coronavirus like symptoms in the 76104 zip code, and that's just south of downtown Fort Worth.